Revolt or burn? Burn, most likely. The climate clock has run out. No time is left for incremental reforms or building a third party. Global warming is about to speed up abruptly due to feedback loops and tipping points that most climate activists overlook or understate. On our present course, I expect worldwide famine by 2030 and human extinction by 2040 or sooner by nuclear war. We might still be able to avert the apocalypse if we throw everything we've got at this problem, but our rulers are doing almost nothing because they can't see past the short-term profits keeping them in power. And we can't vote them out. Our democracy is really a plutocracy, as we always suspected, and as Gillins and Page proved in 2014. So our only hope of survival is a global eco-socialist revolution. We can't survive capitalism much longer, for its externalized costs are inherently ecocidal. And it has other terrible consequences, too. It perpetuates war and poverty, as both make the rich richer. It increases inequality by favoring whichever traitor is in the stronger bargaining position. And competition kills empathy, leaving hate, fear, greed, lies, and random shootings. We'll only become safe in a culture of caring and sharing that leaves no one behind, so no one wants to hurt us. The first step is to get more people talking about it. Join the conversation. You can find a transcript and related links at leftymathprof.org slash revolt or burn.